What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in this one we get uh, top five or top ten fastest superheroes in comics. So in case you guys didn't know, I'm a huge DC comic book fan. I also like Marvel, like I have Marvel posters um, on the wall, but right here I got Shazam, and then this side I got the Justice League. Um, and I, have, I even have like Green Lantern tattoo, Batman, and you can kind of see my other tattoo, but it's Aquaman's uh, trident. But anyways, um, I kind of know who's going to be number one for this video, The Flash. Uh, I think Wally, uh, Wally West is faster than Barry Allen, not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah so let's go ahead and check this out because i want to see it is in comics so that includes marvel so i want to see who's the top 10. what's up my comic comrades even though there's a lot of fast superheroes out there they probably nor narrowed it down so like certain ones Starting off with 10. Kicking off our list is one of the most popular Quicksilver. in all of comics, and that would be Marvel's Quicksilver. He's incredibly fast, originally able to reach the speed of sound, which is about 770 miles per hour. But exposure to I know a lot of people like to say Quicksilver versus the Flash, but come on. Flash will run circles all around Quicksilver. Traveling at this speed allows him to do things like outrun gravity for short periods of time, run on top of water, up walls, and a bunch more. Quicksilver and the Flash are easily two of the most popular See? characters known for their speed. But when looking at the overall picture and not just talking about running fast, there's nine other characters that we feel outrank Quicksilver on this list. Although this list was based on epic and hilarious speed sequences in superhero films, specifically the stuff from the X-Men movies, he would absolutely be number one. Next up, we have Supergirl. Supergirl, really? I thought she'd be up there with at least top five. Essentially, the female version of Superman. Some would actually put her way higher on this list. With that said, given her Kryptonian physiology, she's incredibly powerful on every level. But for our purposes, she's incredibly fast. She's been shown to fly at the speed of light, which I feel is essentially the standard for being an incredibly fast fictional character. If you say they can fly at the speed of light, then you know they can book it. As Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity well, she's Kryptonian. says, no known she's like a girl version of Superman. Is it because she was like frozen? Wonder Woman? It's no secret that Diana is arguably the greatest warrior in all of the DC universe. Her hand strength and physiology gives her a massive edge over all the other fast characters. The easiest way to understand how fast Wonder Woman is is the Flash himself once said she's able to keep up with him at his regular cruising speed. However, she's no match for him. Really? I actually didn't know that. But the fact she's even in the same ballpark as someone like the Flash is insane. What makes sense as over the years she has been shown to move at the speed of light. And like most characters on this list, her speed is isn't limited to just running fast. Her reflexes and reaction time are incredible. Combine that with her super strength that could rival Superman's, and you have one of the most formidable characters in all of comics. What I'm saying is, girl is quick and an overall beast. She's part of the DC Trinity for a reason. She's an Amazon. Up next is Makari of the Eternals. This dude, for all intents and purposes, is a god. If you've seen the Eternals movie, you know what I'm talking about. The Eternals have many different powers and abilities, but they seem to hone in and focus on one to master. And Makari mastered his super speed. That's right, he focused his body's cosmic energy on speed. Because of this, he's able to run at light speed for extended periods of time. Makari is a super unique character, as again, he was so obsessed with being fast that he drained all of his other Eternals' abilities and channeled them into his speed, which made him become one of the fastest characters in all of Marvel and just all of comics. We also don't really know the limits of his speed, which is why really? he's right in the middle here on the list. Why is he because in... he's an Eternal who's literally obsessed why isn't he with speed, up in the top one can really imagine that having that kind of power and channeling it into your speed would make it nearly limitless. But only time will tell as we get more stories of them. Next up, we 
Next up, we've got a character that you've been dying to see in the MCU ever since the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and that, of course, is Nova of the Nova Corps. Nova. Now, this is where things start getting super crazy on our list, as up until now, characters have just been able to travel at the speed of light. But Nova is capable of moving beyond the speed of light and crossing star clusters in seconds. He derives his speed from the Nova Force. We also see in Guardians of the Galaxy issue 6. Isn't it going to be in uh, to Guardians of the Galaxy 3? The fabric of space and time to collapse distances. Now, Nova isn't nearly as fast on foot, but he's still able to run several hundred miles per hour. However, when flying, his speeds are so fast, if he traveled at top speeds inside of Earth's atmosphere, he would cause a lot of harm. Okay, we all love comics, otherwise we wouldn't be here. And for most of us, especially those of us who collect comics, we're always on the lookout for somewhere new to buy or maybe even sell some comics. Well, Hip Comic is a comic book marketplace built the by sponsors. collectors or collectors and has quickly become one of the fastest growing online marketplaces for buying, selling, and or collecting comics. In fact, Hip Comic features over 1 million comic books from some of the biggest and most trusted comic book shops around the world, which means they've got something for every comic book reader and collector. So whether you're looking for a high grade high value copy of your favorite key issue or a few raw books to shore up some gaps in your collection you could find it on hip comic if you're a bargain hunter hip comic also hosts weekly auction events where you can scoop up great deals by bidding on rare and key books that start as low as 99 cents and if you're a collector looking to sell some issues hip comic offers a unique and stupid helpful comic scan feature that lets you list books up to five times faster than traditional methods you just snap a picture of the cover with your phone and the comic scanning feature will automatically create a listing for you complete with important details like title volume issue number publisher etc if you've ever sold anything online before, you know that's cool. a great feature to have. But if you need one more reason to check them out, right now Hipcomic is offering new customers 20% cash back on their first purchase of $50 or more. So whether you spend $50, $500, or $1,000, you'll receive 20% cash back up to a maximum of $500 cash back. But it's only for a limited time, so head over to hipcomic.com forward slash variant comics to claim the offer. There's no promo code necessary. Just use our link and the cash back will be automatically applied to qualifying purchases. Again, you have to use our link to get 20% cash back on your purchase. That's hipcomic.com forward slash variant comics. Five. Next up shouldn't be any surprise, and that is Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers, over the last several years, has been dubbed by Marvel to be one of the most powerful characters in all the Marvel Universe. She's an all-around powerhouse, but as for her speed, she could fly faster than light, which she uses to journey across the galaxy. She's able to do this by accessing her binary power. Essentially, what I'm saying is, like most cosmic beings in the Marvel Universe, she's incredibly powerful, and her speed is insane, as again, she can move faster than light throughout the galaxy. I feel like there's not much more I have to say. I mean, everyone knows Captain Captain Marvel is incredibly powerful. It seems when the writers asked how powerful should she be, Marvel just She's said, a new yes. version of Captain Marvel. Next up, we have I, one of my favorite the OG heroes, and that would version. be Shazam. Now, the official top 10 fastest DC character my all time favorite. Shazam at number 9, but I highly disagree. So much so, I think he is the fourth fastest hero in all of comics. I mean, the dude literally possesses the speed of Hermes slash Mercury. For those of you who are unaware, he should be listed as one. The Greek deity Hermes was known he has like seven so gods or six gods inside of him. Of a god. He's as fast as a lightning bolt. He can travel at light speed and even beat or catch other characters that move at the speed of light. Shazam has been shown to rival Superman in speed and in some cases has been said to be faster than Superman, depending on the story or continuity. Case in point, in Justice by Alex Ross, Shazam is shown to be faster than Superman and even caught up to Barry Allen Flash, who is pretty much the gold standard for speed in comic books. So again, number nine on the official DC Comics fastest list, no way dude, which is why we put him at number four on the fastest Superman. Well, he was on number nine? All of comics. It's crazy. Three. Oh, into the top three is another Marvel character, and that is none Silver other than Surfer. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is yet another cosmic superhero powered by the Power Cosmic. The Power Cosmic makes him an all-around powerhouse of a character, but in terms of speed, and then the top two is Superman, the and then the Flash. The of an eye. He is so fast, in fact, you could argue that he's actually it's quite obvious. Time. But nonetheless, he gets where he's got to go in an instant, practically. Put it this way: in Silver Surfer Volume Three, Issue One Hundred Nine, it was stated that he could rip open a gaping hole in the fabric of reality itself and fly at warp speed to cross a half a million light years in moments. In Silver Surfer the Enslavers issue 58, he flew so fast he twisted the very fabric of matter. In Thor 193, Silver Surfer moved so fast that he went forward in time. He also has several feats in comics so he traveled he in, time. in a microsecond. Point is, there's no question that Silver Surfer is one of the fastest characters around and I think deserves the number three spot. Coming in 
Falling runner up is the Man of Steel Superman. Soups. Now, this shouldn't be a shock to any of you. I mean, it's Superman. Superman is always at the top of any how powerful or greatest feats list. We've done several episodes talking about Superman's strength, like is Superman the most powerful superhero and Superman's strongest moments. But obviously, today we're talking about his speed. First and foremost, the Flash and Superman have raced several times, and Superman is always able to keep up with the Flash. With that said, though, if the Flash is really trying, no shot. But you guys get what I'm saying. Well, I really just have to give you one example to prove just how freaking fast Superman is. In the Silver Age, Superman legitimately broke through all the planes of reality with his speed and power. You see, in Superman in the Spectre issue 29, Superman was looking for Supergirl, so he started flying through space, as captions say, with a speed that all but beggars description, Superman flashes through the limitless darkness, pushing himself harder and faster until he surpasses the speed of light itself. It goes on to say the glittering stars in their majesty become mere luminous blurs as the Man of Steel hurdles past them, shattering the confining barriers of space and time as if they were fragile tissue. Pushing harder and faster, Superman ultimately bursts through the very bonds of infinity, with him even saying, in sanity's name, what have I done? But he keeps going to the point where the Spectre had to intervene and step in, saying, I know you only meant to save your cousin, and yet by pursuing her, you risk the ultimate destruction of civilizations beyond numbering. You were traveling far faster than you ever have before, my friend, shattering barrier after barrier until only one remained, the Golden Veil, beyond, which no living man may trespass, aka the Kingdom of God. So not only did Superman burst through the bonds of infinity, so he was going to heaven? So fast, he was able to reach the limits of existence. To the point where the Spectre had to stop him effectively saying, I should not let you enter the Golden Veil beyond which no living man may trespass. Do I really need to say more? I don't think so. So let's move on to number one. Flash. Barry, I mean, uh, As Wally West. One, which shouldn't be a shock to anyone is, of course, the fastest man alive, the Flash. Now, for the sake of simplicity, you could pretty much lump in all the Flashes or DC Speedsters in this category. Again, we didn't want to single out all the DC Speedsters because this list would just consist of DC Speedsters. With that said, the fastest Flash and Speedster in the DC Universe, and just the fastest character in all of comics, is the original Wally West Flash. As we all know, the Flashes, whether Done. you're talking about Kid Flash, Barry, and Wally, are so fast they could literally travel through time and alter reality. Some of you may be thinking that Barry was the fastest Flash, and although he created the Speed Force and has the most knowledge of the Speed Force, he is second to Wally. Yes, even the official DC fastest character list says Wally is number one. He understands the spiritual side of the Speed Force, and with that understanding, he trusts the Speed Force. Even though he may not fully grasp the science behind it, Wally is able to tap into the full breadth of the Speed Force. He doesn't run through the Speed Force, the Speed Force runs through him. We actually go into <laughs> great detail about Wally being the fastest Flash in our Who is the Fastest Flash episode right here. But with that, our list of the 10 fastest Super heroes and all of comics comes to a close what do you guys think of the list do you agree do you disagree let us know in the comments and that's going to bring today's episode to a close but if you enjoyed so we got ourselves top 10 fastest superheroes in the comic books including marvel and dc um i was kind of shocked to see uh, supergirl i think she was number nine i think she was she uh nine uh because she's a kryptonian the only thing that I thought that might have like hold her back from uh, reaching her, you know, true powers, I guess, uh, is uh, she was frozen for for quite a while, and I think if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken, she was frozen because uh, after their planet exploded, Superman went to Earth, and she was supposed to go to Earth with him, but she ended up going somewhere else, and she was frozen. Um, but I think that's probably why she was like, you know, the, the top nine or uh, yeah, up there, kind of close to 10. But uh, yeah, but that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.